Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I've been asked if I could do some sort of couponing basics videos, some sort of 101s. I do have a very basic 101 on the basics of couponing, like where to get coupons, what terminology means and those sort of things. And I'll link that above in the little clip card here. But I thought I'd do store specific ones for you as well, because um, that's sort of where people get into trouble with the store policies and how things work rather than just actual coupons. So we're going to start with CVS because I find that the easiest one to coupon at and it's a good store for beginners and it is a pretty much nationwide store. So we'll start with that one and then next week I will do a Walgreens one. So let's get started with the first uh, basics 101 and that is couponing at CVS. So this is going to be a back to basics series. So let's start with what is CVS, which is the most basic question. And it's a pharmacy, which, um, is headquartered in Rhode Island. It was originally known as the Consumer Value Store and was founded in 1963. It sells prescription drugs and a wide assortment of general merchandise, including over-the-counter products, um, beauty products, cosmetics, film and photo services, seasonal merchandise, greeting cards, and convenience foods. Um, they have both retail stores and online stores. Um, and it also provides healthcare services through its Minute Clinic medical clinics. So where can you find CVSs? As of May 2018, there were over 9,800 CVS stores across the, across the country. This includes a number of in-store CVS pharmacies located in Target stores to find your nearest standalone store because these are the stores that you can do the couponing deals in. The ones in Target are literally just pharmacies so you can't do the extra buck deals or anything like that. Head to cvs.com and click on the store locator up in the top, I think it's right corner. Add the filters for either 24 hour store or photo service. Usually this will um, limit it to non-Target stores. Um, try photo services first. If that doesn't help, add the 24 hour that will exclude the target locations and as you can see from the map here yeah, they're pretty well located across the country i think the only state that doesn't have them at the moment is wyoming so i'm sorry if you live in wyoming but everywhere else there should be a cvs store somewhere within your state so now we know what cvs is and where it is located the first thing you need to know about couponing at cvs is their loyalty program so the loyalty program at cvs is called the extra care rewards program and it is a loyalty program that gives customers savings across um, many different areas of the store you can either sign up online at cvs.com slash extra care or pick up a card from an associate at your store and then take the card home and register it online. So what are the benefits of the extra care rewards program? The first is sale prices for card holders. If you get the weekly ad in your newspaper and you see that Kleenex tissues are on sale for $1 to get that price, you will need to be an extra care card holder. The next benefit is you can earn extra bucks, which are rewards dollars to be used in store and are earned through select weekly and ongoing promotions. The third benefit is personalized offers and coupons each week based on your purchase history. And the fourth benefit is quarterly cashback on purchases. So you get 2% cashback on purchases um, each quarter. So I think it's April, July, um, October and January off the top of my head, but it basically every three months you'll get an extra buck back with 2% of what your actual um, spend in store was after coupons and extra bucks. So the extra care program also has two sort of offshoot programs. They're all linked together, but I'll just talk about them separately. The first is the CVS Beauty Club. This is an additional rewards program where you will earn $3 in extra bucks for every $30 you spend on select beauty products, including cosmetics, skincare, facial care, hair care, hair color and fragrances and this spend amount is actually calculated before coupons so it is a fantastic rewards program you should be able to earn at least three dollars every week um, through just couponing and doing extra buck deals and then we have the hair care loyalty program um, at cvs for every seven hair colors you buy you will get the eighth one free and the free one they give you a personalized coupon for a free hair care up to nine dollars value it excludes i think a very few select brands but pretty much you can get anything in store up to nine dollars value completely free and you can also pair that with manufacturers coupons as well to do some money maker deals so the first step to couponing at cvs once you of course have your extra care um card number or once you've signed up for the program is to download the CVS app. It is seriously extremely useful. Um, there's a lot, some store apps that I wouldn't recommend but the CVS one is one you'll want to get. As you can see on the screen I have the links to the iTunes and Android um, store where you can find the app and I'll pop them in the description box below as well. Once you have the app downloaded open it up and log into your CVS.com account um, which you'll have created when you're signing up for your extra card and then a whole world of um, 
keeping track of your extra bucks, digital manufacturer coupons and deals will become available to you. So what I have here for you is just some sort of screenshots of the CVS app. On the left, we have just the home page. This is the Apple version of the app because I have an iPhone. It may look slightly different in the Android, but it's basically the same. So when you open the app, you can see um, we have, you can view any prescriptions you have. You can browse the ad. You can print photos. You can look at your extra care card. You can look at deals. You can shop. You can um, go to the Minute Clinic, sign up for appointments and those sort of things. The next screen is when you click on the extra care button there in the middle. This is what will pop up. You will pop up your barcode and your number. Um, so if you forget your card or phone number or things like that, you can just show this at the register and they can scan that. The next one is if you click on your deals and rewards, um, it will bring up what deals you have. And as you can see, they're sorted into categories. So you have your only for you, which are your personalized coupons, your extra bucks, and then all the other categories are digital manufacturers coupons, which you can use as well. And then the next one on the right, the very far right, is just some examples of the personalized coupons that you can go into your app and see what you have. And you can see whether they've been printed, sent to the card, um, or whether they're still available for you to do something with. So now that you've signed up and you have the app downloaded, the main thing you need to know about at CVS is extra bucks. So extra bucks are the equivalent of store currency and are earned by meeting the requirements of certain promotions. They are valid for one month from the date they are earned and they do expire, so you do need to keep a track on the track of them which is why the app is so helpful and they are personal and can only be redeemed by the card holder that earned the reward so even though you get physical ones printed out on the end of your receipt you cannot hand them over to someone else to use because it is linked to your extra kit card i have an example of an extra buck up there on the screen so what you have um, it tells you the value of the award, reward up the top so this one is a four dollar reward it has an expiration date um, so you obviously you can keep track of that and it also tells you what you earned the deal on so this one was earned for having purchased select PNG products so you can work out um, whether you have been getting the right rewards for the right deals and those sort of things so that is an extra buck so how do you earn extra bucks you earn extra bucks through extra buck promotions and there are two main types of extra buck promotions at CVS we have um, the spend promotions and the buy promotions spend promotions do not have to be completed in one transaction and CVS will track the amount you have to um, spend already and show you the total on the bottom of your receipt the example I'm showing here is a Sally Hansen cosmetics which was spend 12 get six so you could spend 12 in one transaction or if you wanted to go back a few times during the week whether just for convenience or that's to abide with coupon limits it will track that for you and on the bottom of the receipt it will show you you have spent three dollars have nine dollars left to hit the reward and things like that and the second type of promotion is a buy promotion. These do have to be completed in one transaction because it is buy two products, get an extra buck reward. So you pick up two in the one transaction and then the extra buck um, would print. So those are the two types of extra buck promotions. Obviously, these are in addition to any extra bucks earned through Beauty Club and things like, um, like the quarterly spend that I mentioned earlier. So now is probably a pretty good time to talk about the 98% rule. Most CVS stores abide by what is known as the 98% rule. That means if a promotion for extra bucks is a spend promotion, so spend 12, get five, you will only need to spend 98% of that $12 threshold for the extra bucks to print. For example, in the scenario where a spend 12, get five, you would need to spend $11.76 to meet the spending requirement. However, not all stores do follow the 98% rule. Um, to check, you can ask your cashier. Um, they may not know, honestly, or may tell you it's not, even if it is. Um, or you could just do a small transaction at 98% and see if your extra bucks print. A good example would be to try it out in the wet and wild, which is um, spend 10, get five. Spend $9.80 and if it doesn't print, you can just pick up another 99 cent item so you're not actually spending too much more to work out uh, if your store does the 98% rule. The next thing you need to know about extra buck promotions is that they do have limits. The CBS weekly ad will indicate how many times a deal can be done with extra bucks being earned. So uh, for example, on the right hand side of the screen, we have a buy two, get five from Maybelline. You can, if you can read the small print underneath, it says extra buck rewards offer limit of one per household with card. This means this has a limit of one. You can buy two and get the $5 extra bucks, but if you buy anything beyond the two, it's not gonna print you any more after that. The example on the right hand side of the screen, the wet and wild, it says extra buck rewards offer has a limit of three. So this promotion has a limit of three. So you can deal or do, do the deal three times and earn extra bucks each time you do that deal. If you try to do it a fourth time, it wouldn't print, but for the first three, you will earn extra bucks. As I said earlier, extra bucks are basically like currency and that's how you use them in store. There are a few things you cannot use them on like gift cards, prescriptions, tobacco, and a few other select exclusions, which we'll 
show on the bottom of each um, ECB. However, the main reason ECBs are great is that you can roll them at CVS. So this is the most common terminology you'll hear at CVS. What rolling means is that you take the extra bucks you earned in a previous transaction or week and use that to pay for your current transaction, knowing that you'll get the equivalent amount of extra bucks back after your purchase. For example, say CoverGirl is on promotion for buy two items and receive five extra bucks. You're going to buy two CoverGirl lipsticks at $6.29 each, so your total would be $12.58. You'd hand over two $3 off one manufacturer coupons, so your new total would be $6.58. To roll extra care bucks, you would hand over five extra bucks from your pre you'd earned the previous week or previous weeks before that, and pay the rem remaining $1.58 out of pocket. And as once you've paid your transaction, your receipt will print out a new $5 extra buck to replace the one you've just used. So that's how it's rolling. You use five and you get back five, so the only thing you're actually paying is that remainder left over. After extra bucks, the next important thing to know about are CRTs. CRTs are also known as cash register tape, which are personalised coupons. These are store coupons sent by CVS based on your purchase history. Generally, they can be combined with manufacturer coupons for additional savings. Sometimes the CVS computer systems play up. Sometimes cashiers make up their own rules, but generally you can combine them together. Um, even if they do say manufacturer on them. So every Sunday new CRTs will be added to your account. You can check these after 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but um, that may not be all that you're getting for the week. Sometimes more are added between 12 and 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can choose to print these out at the store at the coupon center, which is the red box machine you may hear people refer it to as, and that is usually in the middle of the store. It's a big red and yellow box. You'll see it. It's quite obvious. You scan your card or enter in your phone number and the coupons will print out. You could wait and do a transaction and they will print out at the end of your receipt. You can print them out at home from the CVS website or you can just send them to your card or click them to your card and they will be automatically taken off at the register. So there are three main types of CRTs that I want to um, go through with you. The first is a dollar off a certain item. So you may have, like this example here, $3 off one L'Oreal Colorista root touch-up or root cover-up. You can use this only once and it will take $3 off that item and you can pair that with a manufacturer coupon. The second um, example is a dollar off a spend amount. So this one here is get $2.50 off $12 of vitamins. So you have to spend $12 before coup manufacturer's coupons to have another $2.50 come off. And then we have a dollar, a dollar amount off multiple products. So this is a five off of two Neutrogena. If I pick up two Neutrogena makeup products, $5 will come off. Again, all of these are single use, can only be used once, and any requirements must be met for them to come off properly. So now that you know the basics like extra bucks, extra care, and CRTs, the next thing you need to know is about how to coupon in store. The best way to coupon at CVS is to have a plan before you go in. You can find the weekly ad on the CVS website the day before the sale period. So the sale period is Sunday through Saturday. So usually on Saturday morning, the next week's ad will appear. Or you can follow YouTubers such as myself for early previews. I try and get them up at least five days in advance. They're usually Monday at the latest. Sometimes I get them earlier. So you'll be able to see what's coming up um, in the following weeks. So you can work out what coupons you might want to hold on to, whether those are manufacturer or um, personalized coupons, and what deals might be better off them doing the week after to get a better deal for yourself. So pick the deals that will work for you based on the manufacturer coupons and personalized coupons that you have. Any new personalized coupons or CRTs you receive on Sunday morning can be used for that week's deals or they can be held for the week after if there are better scenarios. So personalized coupons are valid from one week from when you print them. So if you print them on Sunday, you have them through the next Sunday. If you wait till later in the week, you'll have to whatever day you print it the week after. So clip the clip coupons you know that we'll be using, whether those are paper ones or digital ones, and make sure you bring them with you to the store. Find the products in store and then head up to the register, which is always the fun part of couponing at CVS. So the next part is at the register, and this is the most stressful part of couponing at CVS. Not due to the cashiers. Most cashiers are lovely, although sometimes you will get um, a bit of a coupon Nazi. However, it's just because of the CVS IT systems. They're outdated. There are issues all the time. Sometimes they're nationwide issues, sometimes it's just your store. So you never actually know what's going to happen until you try it. But let's go through the basics of how it should work. So the cashier should ask you for your phone number or extra care card to scan before you begin. All your items will be scanned and then you can hand over your coupons. It is easier to hand over personalised coupons first. However, some stores will insist that manufacturer coupons go first. That's what my store does. They still usually end up working the same. But if you can hand over the personalised coupons first... 
So once all your coupons are scanned, the cashier will hit total and this will prompt a screen which shows all the digital coupons which have been applied. Ask to check to see if all your digital manufacturer or CRTs you think should have come off have. So I send a lot of my CRTs to my card just because it's easier than having to argue sometimes with cashiers who say you can't stack them together and I just want to make sure they've come off. So I say, can you just tell me if my three off of 12 cosmetic CRT has come off and they can show you whether it's been applied or not. If you have beauty bucks that you haven't printed, they will ask you if you want to use them at this point because that comes up at the top of the screen. It will say, Sarah has $3 in beauty bucks. Would she like to apply them? So ask the cashier for a subtotal before you hand over any extra care bucks for payment um, because ECBs cannot be used on tax, unlike Walgreens. And if you try to use more than the subtotal before tax, it will potentially kick out any other CRTs like the personalized ones you've used. Pay any remaining balance once you've handed over the right amount of ECBs and then your receipt will print out and any extra care bucks you've earned will be printed out at the end of the receipt. So let's just do one example transaction together. Let's just say Crest mouthwash is on sale and has an extra buck promotion where you'll get a $3 extra buck for buying one. You'd go into the store, pick up your one Crest Scope mouthwash one litre, which is on sale for $4.79, put it in your cart and take it up to the register. At the register, you'd have the cashier enter your extra care number. You'd hand over any manufacturer's coupons. So in this example, we currently have a dollar off one from the $7.29 PNG. And then your total would be $3.79. If this was your first ever transaction at CVS, you would have to pay that $3.79 out of pocket. This is always shorter to OOP in any scenarios you see. And on the end of your receipt will be a $3 extra buck um, to use on your next purchase. However, if you have existing extra bucks because it's not your first transaction, you'd hand over that $3 extra buck and pay the remaining 79 cents out of pocket. You then get your $3 extra buck back, meaning that you've only paid 79 cents for the mouthwash by rolling your extra care box. Okay, so the very last thing we need to do is go through this CVS coupon policy. You can find this online at cvs.com. They do update it every once in a while. So this is the current version and let's go through it together. Um, they're all, it says everything is subject to their CVS coupon poly, policy and as required by state and local laws. Um, they reserve the right to change it at any time and without notice or advertisement. And they, when accepting coupons, they follow the guidelines below. They all must be presented, be legible and have a scannable barcode. They avoid if copied, scanned, altered, expired or prohibited by law. They reserve the right to process coupons in any order. So as I was saying to you before, I prefer to hand over um, personalized coupons and manufacturers, but this does say they can tell you which order to hand them over in. So that's, you do have to um, abide with that. Qualifying extra care card must be presented at checkout to use um, CVS coupons or extra buck rewards. Valid coupon, coupons loaded to your extra care card will be applied at checkout. They cannot scan coupo, coupons directly from a mobile device. You can not exchange your coupons or extra buck rewards for cash or a gift card. Neither coupons nor extra buck rewards can be refunded or reissued. So if you lose your extra bucks, you are out of luck. Sales tax may be charged on the pre-coupon price. Um, this just depends on your area. In my state, it absolutely is charged on the pre-coupon price, but I know in areas, I think like Pennsylvania charges it on the after coupon price. So they're a lot luckier than some of us. Your purchase must include qualifying items and items purchased must match this coupon description, such as brand, size, quantity, color. Individual coupon value cannot exceed the value of the item that it is applied to. This is not kind of correct. If you have a $3 coupon and a $2.99 item, as long as you've got something else in the transaction, it will still apply, but that's okay. Um, CVS pharmacy coupons generally cannot be used on sale, promotional or clearance items. Other restrictions may apply. So when they say CVS pharmacy coupons, they mean your personalized coupons or your CRTs. Um, what they mean by sale is if it's on promotion for buy two get 10 extra bucks that is not considered a sale but if it is say this lipstick this week only is 4.99 that's when they say that you may not be able to use it on it so it's not specifically excluded but it says generally cannot you can only use one time brand or category category specific cvs coupons and one manufacturer's coupon per item unless otherwise prohibited prohibited by either coupon they will honor manufacturer limitations um, they have the right to refuse or limit the use of any coupon or any subsequent return for any reason and at the discretion of management. So here's what I was saying about the value before. What happens when I want to use a coupon with a higher value than the amount I am purchasing? You may still use the coupon, however, it just drops down to the price. A $5 coupon for a $4.99 item will result in a $4.99 coupon value. So even though they say up here, individual coupon value cannot exceed the value of the item, they then literally say that it will just reduce down. So it's a little bit confusing, but you can still use them. 
Can I use multiple coupons on sale items? Yes, as long as all coupons meet their qualifications. For example, if you have two, three off of 15, you can use both as long as your purchase is $30 or more. If you have a three off of 15 and a $5 extra buck, you only need to spend 15. If you have a dollar off manufacturer coupon and a $2 off personal coupon, you can use both on a $3 item. Can I use multiple coupons on sale items? Yes, for certain coupons and certain sales. The examples they use are if Suave is on sale for $2 and buy one, get one free. Um, the customer purchases two shampoos. The customer may use $2 off coupons and just pay tax. If Suave is on sale for two, buy one, get one free. And the customer has a manufacturer coupon for a Suave, buy one, get one free. The customer will receive both items free, but it will also need to pay any applicable tax. So how do I determine sales tax? Um, if you use a coupon, funded manufacturers coupons will generally calculate sales tax on the pre-coupon price of the item as required by state law. If the coupon is issued by CBS, such as extra bucks or CRTs, the coupon is generally deemed a retailer coupon and the sales tax is calculated on the discounted price of the item after the coupon is applied. However, some CVS pharmacy issued coupons are funded manufacturer coupons um, and designated as MF MFR on the face of the coupon and also on your receipt. Sales tax is calculated on CVS pharmacy issued manufacturer coupons on the pre-coupon price of the item. Blah, -de blah, -de blah. And it, here it lists the states where it's um, calculated on the discounted price. Can the processing order of multiple coupons that are applied to an item affect the calculation of sales tax? Yes, although CVS reserves the right to determine the processing order of its coupons issued. Individual state tax tax laws govern the processing order of retailer versus manufacturer coupons. Am I limited by how many items I can buy? There is no set limit, however store managers do reserve the right to set discretionary limits on specific items being purchased in, short, in order to ensure there are enough to, um, of those items for other customers. How am I able to use percent off coupons? Percent off coupons may be used on non-promotional, non-sale items. Exclusions are displayed on each of the coupons. I don't think I mentioned this earlier. That is a type of CRT. They're getting less and less common percentage off. And they're also, they only take the percentage off the final price after you've used any extra bucks, any other CRTs and any manufacturer's coupons. So unless you're willing to pay tax and don't have manufacturer coupons or CRTs, they're actually not that useful anymore. How do I use digital extra care coupons or coupons that have been sent to my card? Um, basically, to per use it, purchase the necessary items the coupon is valid for and ensure your card number is scanned. The cashier will ensure it is implied to the transaction during the checkout process. What is considered an extra care coupon? Any coupon, coupons and extra buck rewards that print at the coupon center or are featured in your printed or digital receipt, CVS app or CVS.com are considered extra care coupons. Quarterly extra buck rewards, circular extra buck rewards, beauty club and pharmacy extra buck rewards are all types of extra bucks. So that is the CVS coupon policy, guys. So those are the basics of couponing at CVS, their loyalty program, the extra care program, how to sign up, how to download the app and how to use it, what extra bucks are, how to use them, how to roll them, how to earn them, what CRTs are, how to find them and how to use them, and then how to do transactions at CVS. Hopefully I've answered all your questions, but if you do have any more, please leave any questions you have in the comments below and I will happily do a follow-up question and answer video to answer any common questions that I may have missed. But I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share or comment below. If you've not yet done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you've got that bell icon clicked so you're notified every time I post a new video. And if you've missed it, I will leave again linked at the end, my couponing 101 basics video, which is all about where to find coupons basic terminology and um, how to use them. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.